welcome back to my channel so today's video is the guest bedroom reveal video um, I'm so happy with how this turned out and I wanted to share it with you guys to give you maybe a little inspiration or if you um, just like watching these type of videos because I definitely do I wanted to film it I think the last video I did was our guest bathroom so it's just like right next door and this is on the main level of our house so I wanted to make this room special and something that we can keep the door open and not kind of like hide from people when they're here because our main level is a little smaller so I just didn't want to like shut off the room I wanted to keep it open it's super bright in here so I wanted it to feel special and also I love when people come stay with me so yeah I just wanted it for special for my family and friends that come to visit and also it's just like fun to kind of decorate a new space so yeah I'm gonna walk you guys through every little area of the room and tell you where I got things and um, hope it gives you guys some ideas but let's just jump right into the video and I hope you guys like it okay so we're just gonna walk around the whole room and I'll kind of show you each little area that we have set up and if I can remember everything I'll tell you guys where I have everything or bought everything from um, so we're gonna start over in this corner and I hung this big mirror from Target above this cool like kind of mid-century modern chest that my mom found at a consignment store and then I kind of just decorated it just to kind of make it look cute but I got this candle from the world market this vase is like a naked body and it's from Urban Outfitters and I just filled it with a bunch of dried grasses and palm leaves which I think is cool um, I got this like little wooden um, I don't know it's like a little anatomy guy from Ikea just some cool books that if any of my guests want to read a book it's cute and then I did a cool print that kind of has all the colors that I'm doing in this room and then I love real plants so I put a bunch of real plants in here and this room gets really good daylight and so that's why I did that I think it's really cute this big um, I don't know what is it planter is from TJ Maxx and then this clay bell that I found from TJ Maxx and it's on a little wooden hook from Amazon. Okay, so then when you turn, this is the bed and we wanted to keep it pretty simple and just like kind of clean and bright. So we went with all white bedding and I got this really nice waffle blanket from Ikea and then our duvet comforter and the quilt underneath are from Pottery Barn. And then I bought this really cool lumbar, I think is what it's called, pillow, which is a long pillow and I got that from CB2. I love the terracotta color that it is. I just think it's super cute. And then behind it I put these two square pillows from Ikea. Again just like I kind of added different textures to this bed because it is mostly white. I wanted to add a little something to it. So the texture and this pop of terracotta is kind of what we went with and I really really like it okay and then for the art above the bed I wanted to keep it pretty simple and I also just didn't really want to buy art at the time so I decided to paint my own which I did vlog and I'll put that in the description if you guys want to see how I did it but I just picked a pretty neutral co color and then I bought this really pretty frame online and I'll put the website that I bought it from but you can basically custom any size frame you want and it's fairly uh, reasonably priced but I just love the color and how neutral it is so yeah that's the art above the bed okay so then over on this wall I did a huge floor to ceiling basically um, mirror which I use every day when I'm getting ready for work because our room's upstairs so I wanted this for myself but also I just think it's really nice to have for guests when they're over so like I said they can kind of get ready in here and yeah so I got this from Ikea I love how big it is it's so pretty and I'm kind of obsessed with it and I just put a little hat up here to one hide our um, fire distinguisher or what is it called? Smoke detector. Our smoke detector because it's ugly and I just think it's kind of cute it goes with our color scheme. And then another plant which is real and I got this plant from Ikea and then the planter is also from Ikea. And then we have the nightstand which I put another plant on which I think is super cute. I love how it like kind of like falls off the bedside table, a little lamp. And then I got this brass tray from West Elm which I am obsessed with. And then just to have like a couple things for guests if they stay here, I put a little lip balm and then I did label some of these jars. I put mints and then also a little lotion which I just think is nice to have 
wherever and then i did put like a charger for cell phone and stuff in here just in case anyone like forgot theirs because i do that all the time and then i got this huge plant which it's actually grown so much it's kind of like getting out of control but i love it the planter is from target and then just love that plant that is also real okay and down below i'm going to kind of hide this just for personal reasons but i did this little print um that i found online and it has our wi-fi password just for guests or people that haven't been here before that'll be out and they can use our wi-fi and then i put a little candle down below just because i think it's cute and who doesn't love a good candle okay and that is our guest room which is honestly one of my favorite rooms in the house which seems kind of funny because i feel like a guest room maybe sometimes could get neglected but i wanted to put effort into this room and make it nice because one i love having people come to my house and stay and i just wanted it to feel homey for them and also that it's on the main level of our house so it is seen by a lot of people we keep the door open just to kind of keep because it's so like nice and bright in here that I wanted to keep the doors open so yeah people walk past it all the time and yeah I just want it to look really nice and I am so obsessed with it but I will link as much as I can below like I said we did just move in here so a lot of the stuff that I showed should still be available um, obviously the home goods stuff is kind of hard because home goods is that way which kind of sucks for this type of thing but also like who doesn't love a good home goods run anyways i'm blabbering so i'm gonna end the vlog here wanna kiss on my neck been affectionate for me ever since we met